Hello everyone and welcome to the G3 Speed. I hope you all are doing well. I haven't done this style recording before. So hopefully everything goes well. So today we're going to be competing against our favorite YouTubers point systems on the left. It's pretty easy to understand. So this time, instead of racing each other, we're at, yeah, we're going to race each other, but we're competing on points. All your competitors are on the screen right now. So basically how the point system works is we're going to try to get the, the fastest lap times out of this group of nine other competitors. Like, no, no, not, no, not nine. I think it's like ten competitors. Yeah, ten competitors. So we're going to try to get the best time. As you see, we're kind of struggling to get the car turning. It's kind of, it's not that hard. It's not that easy to get the car turning. The corners are really tight. And we're going to be trying to get the fastest lap time out of all your favorite YouTubers I just flashed on screen before. Vexalan, Vexterity, many more. All the other Fusion Core, many more of the other content creators you love. So on screen, during this run, we were kind of struggling to get a good lap time. It, it wasn't easy. It was kind of a, playing a game of risk versus reward. We're trying to we're trying to follow our fellow competitors, see how they can get the car turning. Uh, we cannot get the car turning at all. Like, so we, we definitely got to work on getting the car turning for the whole tournament. So we're going to try to beat out our competitors. It's not going to be easy as we advance later on. I felt okay with our run so far. It wasn't like the best run, but I felt like we put some decent lap times. But yeah, we, we're still we're still making a lot. We're making we had we just had a big moment. We just had a big crash. Well, the guys behind me having a crash as well. So we're gonna keep trying to get the car to turn. It's not it's not easy at all. Yeah, we're 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 at this point. The session's about to run out. So I felt like we would get a pretty decent time in this event. The session is about to end, and there we go. And so far, we placed sixth out of all the YouTubers. We got a tie for third place, and JJ gets the fastest time of 13.317 seconds. While well, we have a time of 13 points, points seven, I, I can't read, I'm sorry. So yeah, so far we line up sixth on the grid, so far in the standings. We'll, we will run five races, so don't worry, this is not the end of the tournament. We still got a shot of winning 50,000 Robux. That's right. First place gets 50,000 Robux, second place gets 25,000 Robux, third place gets 10,000 Robux, and everyone else gets a participation prize with 25,000 Robux. As we head on to race two, as you notice, usually the tracks are supposed to change, but this time, for some reason, the track didn't change. But one advantage we did have this run was we're falling, by, we're falling behind the guy who was fastest, who got the fastest lap time, JJ. So we're gonna try to stick with him and see what he's doing that we're not doing as he 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 clearly gets the car turning. Like I don't know why we can't get the car turning. It's not it's not easy to get the car going. He knows how to run these cars. I'm still trying to figure things out. I'm still taking baby steps here. They're so gonna try to gain on him, try to keep up with him. It's not easy. We're again, we gotta it's kinda hard to get into a rhythm this tournament. The main goal of the main goal of this tournament and how to get a fast time is try to get in a rhythm. Don't pressure yourself too much trying to get a fast time and Right now, so far, we're kind of struggling to get a rhythm. We're getting the car to turn a little bit. We're getting a little better. But as at the same time, the competitors are probably getting better. We're starting to lose ground to JJ here. So it's not going to be easy to win this tournament or ha take home. Like, I don't know if we're going to win this tournament. We're going to try our best. But we're going to try to get the highest, like, out of all the tournaments combined. I hope. I haven't done this style recording before, so hopefully everything goes well again. So, as you can see, we're, we're getting the car turning a little bit. It was not easy. You guys in front of us are making a few mistakes. We're trying to keep up with JJ here, but he's just too quick for us, so we can't keep up with him at all. So, we're going to keep... We're going to keep trying hard, and hopefully I get better at doing the style recording. I plan on using the style recording more, and yeah, we, we keep we keep making mistakes. The session's about to end in about five seconds. I felt like we put down a pretty decent time in the end, but I don't know. We're, we haven't checked the leaderboard all day, and unfortunately, we still... We're still only the 6th out of 10th quickest. JJ still gets the fast time. He gets a freaking 12 second time while we're here getting a 13.7. He's getting a 12 second time. That's unbelievable. And we're still 6th in the standings. JJ is starting to take a command. JJ is starting to take a commanding lead. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we'll stand a good chance in this tournament. Still got 3 races left. Anything can happen. But so far, it's not looking good. We're sitting 6th place. We're trying to get, we're trying, we got three lace, three, I don't know what I said, three races left, and we're, we're gonna run the third race, as you can notice, the track's a little different, so thank god, I, I didn't really like that track in the first session, so, 
We're going to try to hopefully get the car to turn this time. I think I feel a lot more comfortable with this track. I'm glad we're getting a different track. Because if we keep running that same track, I was probably going to get pissed off and rage quit. But we're not. Uh, as we all make mistakes in the first corner. We still got plenty of time to session. We got three minutes to put down the fastest lap possible. We're making tons of mistakes. We're going to try to fall behind some people and see what they're doing. Still struggling to get the car to turn. Like The, 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 the key to getting the fastest lap in this tournament is to try to get the car to drift throughout the corner, as you can see. You see JJ running extremely fast. He gets the car to slide. We can't get the car to slide. Yeah, we're still struggling to get the car to slide. Hopefully, we can get better at getting the car to slide. So, we're running around trying trying our best to get the car to slide, because that's the main goal. That's where we really struggle. We really struggle getting the car to slide, trying to cut the corners as much as we can without hitting the inside wall. It's really technical. The track's not very wide, so there's very little room for error, and a lot of guys making mistakes behind us. So, we're going to try to get the car to drift. Yeah, we got it to drift a little bit that way. So, we're starting to get into a li little rhythm, and as you can tell, I, I don't even know if I told you what game... I don't, know, I, I don't know if I told you guys what game we're playing. We're playing the G3 Speed. We're doing a little tournament. I'll link the game in the description below. It's really, it's a really fun go karting game. It's got potential, in my opinion. I don't know if I'm a big fan of like the time trial system. It would be really nice if the if the racing area we have is a little larger, the track was a lot wider, and maybe we can have like a race mode where we actually have to compete against each other because competing for time eventually just running like the same tracks over and over again gets boring. So that's my suggestion for the game. The cars are perfectly fine as there is like I, we're, we're struggling to get the car to turn, but once you get used to them, they're not that bad. So I would really like to see a race mode in this game, maybe like a second floor so you can expand the track. So we got 30, 30 seconds left in the transition, we're trying to put the hammer down. Get the best time possible. I'm not even looking at the leaderboard because I do not want to be pressured. Like, oh, I'm last place. I need to pick up the pace, and then I start making mistakes out of nowhere. If you get what I'm saying, but we're gonna try to. We're gonna keep trying to get the fast lap. We're trying to get the fast lap possible. We got very little time in the session. We will not be able to make another lap going. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the grid looks like. I don't know where we placed. I've never checked the leaderboard. We could do well. We could do horrible. As you see, we are second quickest out of everyone. Fex Allen gets the fastest time. We're tied with JJ in red. That means that we're tied for points. And if we're tied, there's like no tiebreakers. We all get the same amount of points. And so far, we got we got many, many ties for all these positions. Two races left. We're tied for fifth place. There's a tie for third place, a tie for fifth place. Got 19 points so far. Hopefully, things go better in this fourth race. Because... Anything could happen. JJ is still in the points lead, but we might have a shot of winning this thing if if we play our cards right and we could get the car to turn because that's what we've been struggling. We've been struggling to get the car to turn the whole tournament, so hopefully this fourth race goes well. As the green flags out for our session, three minutes to put down the fastest lap possible. So far, we're leading the group. We're going to... Oh, I know we've been... As soon as I say that, we make a mistake. So, oh, no, no, it's it's this track again. Come on, out of all the tracks they could have gave us, it's this track. So we're going to have to manage with this track. I feel like I'm getting a little, a little more comfortable and a little more confident in driving the cars. Considering that last session, we ended up finishing second in that session. So it was, we got some good momentum going. So we're, oh, we all, we're all making mistakes here. We're trying to, we're trying to get, we kind of forgot how to drive for a little bit. We got to re, we luckily got three minutes. We're trying to remember how to drive the cars again. Trying to keep up with this front pack to see what they're doing that we're not doing. So we're gonna keep trying to put down a good lap, and we're making we're making a lot of mistakes. I don't know. It's not looking good here. I really want to get those top three positions because that's where you get the big Robux. You got the twenty five thousand, the ten thousand, the fifth, the fifty thousand Robux grand prize. That is life changing Robux here, folks. So we're gonna try our best to win that. As we we keep making mistakes, we just I just need to focus, get into a rhythm, don't panic, and just. Put the hammer down, put the fastest lap possible, we're still struggling to get the- After four sessions, you would think we would get- we would understand how to get the car to drift and get the fastest time possible. No, we're still struggling to get the car to turn. So hopefully we can fall behind- we can fall behind some of these fast guys and see what they're doing, how they got the car to slide. We're starting to get the car to slide a little bit, as it's not looking good. We got a 13.1, that is not a very- now that's the fastest time, what am I saying? We got a 14.15 second lap. That is not a very good time, so I don't know how we're going to place, as this is the money lap. We're going to have to try so hard to 
to maybe lay down just an incredibly fast lap. I don't know if we can do it. We're taking the quarters really tight, getting the car to turn, and we do improve our lap by a significant amount. That could be game-changing. That's a tournament. We finished fourth, but that could have been a lot worse because we probably would have fit placed like ninth or eighth without that money lap at the end. So we end up placing fourth. We haven't won any, tur any races yet, but we're going to keep trying. Scoring solid points, being consistent. As we sit third, as we enter the final race, JJ kind unfortunately, first place is already locked up. JJ's done an amazing job this tournament. Credit to him. Now, all we gotta do is two points separate myself and Feck Sound. Can we win the G3 Speed YouTuber Challenge? No, we can't win. What am I talking about? We can't win the G3 Speed YouTuber Challenge. Can we take second and get that 25,000 Robux? That is a lot more Robux than 10,000 Robux. So the pressure's on. It's time to put the hammer down. Put, just don't even think about anything. Just get the car to turn. Running these practice sessions, this has to be my favorite track. So it might have the best advantage. Trying to get the car to slide. We're pulling away. Made a mistake at the beginning. We're pulling. You can tell. We know how to drive this track. I'm I'm trying the best you can to just take advantage of getting this track. Because if we race this track in the beginning of the session, I probably would have got the fastest lap by like five tenths of a second. So we're going to try our best. Get into a rhythm because that's key. We cannot really get into a rhythm the last four races. Can we take home 25,000 Robux? It's not going to be easy. Fex Allen's been fast all day, but we'll see. And I forgot to mention, poor Fusion Core has finished last in all the tournaments so far. Can Fusion Core not finish last for one of these events? And shout out to Fusion Core, man. He's been doing this whole challenge on mobile, I believe. And that must be really tough for him. So if he could somehow not finish last in this final race, that would be pretty remarkable. And it will be a pretty big accomplishment for a mobile play. So, yeah, we're, as you can tell, we're clearly a lot faster than everybody. Just trying to focus. I'm not even paying attention to everybody. I'm just paying attention to myself. N not, n just, I I'm out of words. Like, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm kind of worn out. I've, I have to record like a 13 minute video of this. I don't know what to say. We're going to try to get better next time. As we got 30, se 30 seconds left in the session, really getting the car to slide there. So we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying. Anything could happen. So we're still trying to, oh, when we make, as soon as they say that, we make another mistake. So hopefully we got the fastest time this session because that's our main goal. We really want that second. We can't. We can't win the tournament. JJ's already won the. He's already locked up the tournament. And we take second place from Fex Sound. It's gonna be close. I don't know where we place. So we're gonna find where we place. I think we did really well. And look at that. We just won our first. It, it, it's never too late. Did we beat Fex Sound? He finished fourth. Fex Sound finished fourth. We won this part of the race. Did we take second from Fex Allen? Oh, we took it by one point. One point separated me and Fex Allen. We win 25,000 Robux. JJ wins 50,000 Robux. Fex Allen wins 10,000 Robux. Everyone else on the screen, they all get a participation prize. I hope all your favorite YouTubers did well. It, it was, the tournament in general was really fun. Although, like, running laps around the track was, like... If you're playing the game normally, in my opinion, it wouldn't be, like, the most fun thing to do. Unless... you, If you can really get the laps perfect, it's really satisfying and fun. But this challenge is just really fun in general. I hope you guys love the video. I'll be linking the game in the description below. I'm sorry if this video was kind of, like, a little sloppy in some areas. I've never done this style of recording. So hopefully we get better in the future. And I'll see you all in the next video.